Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Sabina from Apple City or welcome if you are new to my channel. As promised today I am coming to you with a comparison between these two gorgeous bags Pochette Matisse and Speedy B25. So these are the two popular handbags from Louis Vuitton and if you are now on the fence about one of them and struggling between Pochette Matisse and Speedy B25 I really hope you find this video interesting and helpful for you, my friends. So without further ado, let's start with the material and structure of the handbags. Pochette Matisse is made of the monogram coated canvas with natural cowhide leather trim on the short top handle, tab pull on the top portion of the S-lock and strap holders. The dimensions of the bag are 25 centimeters by 19 and by 7. Pochette Matisse features a distinctive S-lock closure in the front, beautiful gold color, hardware, short top handle for hand carry, and outside zip pocket in the back. The strap is removable and it's also adjustable with five eyelets. The strap drop is 48 cm minimum and 55 cm maximum. Speedy B25 is made of the Dame Eben coated canvas with smooth cowhide leather trim on the two top handles, on the chops, on the strap, and on the sides. You can see here the straps of leather on both sides of the bag. So the dimensions of the Speedy B25 are 25 cm by 19 and by 15. Speedy B25 is called 25 because it is 25 cm across and B stands for bondelier and means with this strap. It features the double zip same beautiful gold color hardware as on Pochette Matisse, two top handles for hand and elbow carry, and this cute padlock with the keys. This strap here is removable and adjustable with six eyelets in total. The strap drop is minimum 49 centimeters and maximum 52 centimeters. So now let's put these two bags together. And as you can see, the length and height of both bags is same, but the major difference is in the depth. And that makes Pochette Matisse so compact and petite near Speedy B25. Originally, Speedy was created for travelers, so due to its size and depth, you can put there everything you need during the day and even more. Pochette Matisse is a very structured bag, while Speedy B25 is soft, and once you carry it, it can be a little bit slouchy at the bottom. But that major feature allows you to fold this bag flat, I will show you in a bit as if you purchased it right now and you can put this bag in your suitcase if you don't like the slouchiness of your bag you can always put a bag organizer or base shaper in the bag but I personally don't mind my Speedy B being a little bit slouchy and on the contrary I find it so adorable now let's take a look at the closure Pochette Matisse has a S-lock closure, so to open it you need to squeeze these two buttons. Well, actually this left button is moving and that opens the bag. Speedy B25 has the double zip closure and well actually to make your goodies safer in the bag, you can pass a lock through this two zipper pulls like this. I will show you in a bit. 
and once you put this lock on the zipper it makes your goodies safer in the bag well as for me I prefer this zip closure on my Speedy B25 because sometimes I do have a small trouble with pochette matisse when I want to lock the flap but when the bag is fully stuffed the S-lock works perfectly well pochette matisse has natural cowhide leather trim or they call it the cattle leather which is a very sensitive to water drops or oily hands with my speedy b25 with its processed leather trim i don't need to worry about weather and any other circumstances so price wise Pochette Matisse is currently retailed for $18.90, while Speedy B25 can be purchased for $15.30. Now let's look inside the bags. Pochette Matisse has got the brown textile lining and three inside compartments, which make your goodies kept organized in the bag. Speedy B25 has this beautiful red interior and this one huge compartment and a small flat pocket in the back to demonstrate the holding capacity of both bags let's first see what i've got now in my pochette matisse and then we will move everything from pochette matisse to speedy b25 so as you can see my pochette matisse is now fully stuffed but i always tell that i never overstuff my handbags so i've got here my emily wallet from louis vuitton my mini pochette then i've got the prescription glasses the household package the key pouch, some tissues, and in the back pocket, I always keep my phone. So iPhone 7 easily fits the back pocket. Now let's put all these goodies into my Speedy B25. Please mind that Speedy B is known for its narrow opening and the length of the opening is less the length of the bag itself. So let me put the Emily wallet. To put the Emily wallet in the bag, you have to angle it in like this, and then it perfectly fits the bag. Now goes my mini pochette, prescription glasses, my film, key pouch, tissues and the household package so as you can see speedy b25 is a very roomy so you still have a lot of space now let's put here the umbrella and it can also fit a book as you can see i have a ton of space if you are a mom of little kids, you can put here pampers, some snacks, etc. Which bag I would recommend? Pochette Matisse is more a fashion bag to me. It can be dressed up and down. But if you want to go for this classic monogram, you have to be ready that the vaquero leather gets patina with the time and you have to treat it like a baby. You can also buy a bandeau to tie the top handle, which will protect it from water drops and other things. Speedy B25 is an ideal city bag for every day. If you don't want to be nervous about the leather trim, choose the Carefree Tame Event Print. It is also cheaper than Pochette Matisse and to me it's more a function bag. So that's my comparison between these two beautiful popular bags from Louis Vuitton. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. Please share this video to your friends and consider subscribing to my channel. Have a fabulous time my friends, stay safe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!